It is truly remarkable that a school of basically 320 women living on campus is competing at a national level in equestrian studies. We have about 90 students in the equine program itself, and for a college that only has about 350 students, you can see the impact of the equine program. When I got my first horse when I was 10, came to St. Mary the Woods because they had, were one of the few schools that had an equine program. I'm here because um, the program's awesome. <laughs> I learn a lot coming into the college. I didn't know a lot about horses. I just knew the basics. But uh, I've learned how to deal with horses, how to handle different situations with them, and how to, like this. <laughs> A lot of them come in wanting to be trainers or instructors. Others just simply want to study the equine science aspect so that maybe they can do research um, and those sorts of things. And then we also have a business aspect so that maybe they don't want to actually be the hands-on part of the horse industry, but they would like to manage a barn or run a facility that has equine activities at it. I didn't know we were going to deal with Mustangs. <laughs> and so when I heard about that, I was like, I was excited, but I was nervous because I've never trained a horse. Hey. When we go to pick them up, especially at the Ewing facility, there was 280 some odd Mustangs there. And we had to, you know, try to choose the ones that we felt the students could work with. We had just learned about the hard times that they have in adopting these Mustangs out once they're brought into captivity. And we have a training and handling class that basically works with yearlings and two-year-olds that have never been halter broke or anything. I mean, just working with them daily and anytime you can get with them, um, it's just that bond that you have with a horse that you can't get from another from another person <laughs> or from anything else. and. It's, once you have it, it's strong and you don't want to let go. It's going to be a sad day when they go. I'm going to want to adopt one. The main difference between the domesticated and the wild horse is their instincts. Um, the wild horse has to live off those instincts. A domesticated horse knows that everything they need is provided by us. Most people can't believe that you can actually make a living or have a job in something that you feel so deeply for. It's not a, a career that you're going to get rich at, so you really do have to love it and have that passion for it.